Hi, I'm Joe, a tutor at HelpingDevelop.com. Welcome back to part two of creating a basic membership website. In today's lesson, we're going to be going into phpMyAdmin and we're going to be creating the membership table. The first thing you're going to have to do is open your browser and navigate to localhost forward slash phpMyAdmin and log in. Then select the database on the left which we created in part one and create a new table named members with 10 columns. Now, let me drag this out to a bit bigger so you can see. Right, the first column name is going to be ID. The type is integer and it's going to be awkward implemented and primary. Then we're going to have username. The type is going to be a varchar and the length is going to be limited to 10 characters. Then we're going to have first name and again the type will be varchar but this time the length will be limited to 255 as that is the maximum value for varchar. And then we're going to do exactly the same for last name. Then email again is going to be type varchar length 255. Password is going to be exactly the same varchar 255. Next we have sign up date. Now this is going to be the type of date and we don't need to put any values or lengths in that. Then we're going to have IP address and that's going to be another varchar 255 and then we're going to have last logged in. Now this is going to have the type of date time and again no values in that one. Then we're going to have about and now this is going to have the type of text as it may be a large text. Now we're going to scroll down and click save and once it's been saved you can click it and view the structure. Now the reason why I've chose auto increment for ID is because every time a member signs up they're going to get a new ID and no ID will be the same. For example, the first member that signs up will automatically get an ID of 1, the next will automatically get the ID of 2, and so on and so on. So I hope you understand this tutorial, stay tuned for part 3 where we'll be going over actually creating register.php. Thank you, don't forget to comment below, like this video and subscribe. Goodbye.